We first told you about construction costs for new housing going through the roof in San Francisco. Developers feeling the pinch, having trouble getting their projects finished or even started because of the inflated cost of materials and a shortage of labor. New data released today shows just how bad it really is. KPIX 5 reporter Juliet Goodrich is live in San Ramon with the staggering numbers. Juliet? But well, we see construction projects going up all throughout the Bay Area. That's not something new. But what is, is these projects that are delayed, maybe weeks or even months. And that's because they can't find enough skilled construction workers. They're far and few between. The job is almost a hard sell now. Need a job? Construction firms need you. The job is hard. Yeah. And uh, not everyone wants to come and do the job. 80% of construction companies nationwide report they are having a hard time filling hourly craft positions. This according to an industry-wide survey released today by the Autodesk and the Associated General Contractors of America, or AGC. This foreman, who didn't want to go on camera, confessed to us... Instead of being on schedule, I'm, I'm, I'm four to five weeks behind on these three phases. The report also predicts it will get worse, with 48% of the employers in California saying it will become even harder to hire over the next 12 months. This is about money. So they want to make a living, and that's what we're trying to, to help. The hardest jobs to fill? Bricklayers, installers, pipe layers, and carpenters. But the Bay Area workforce is also competing with natural disasters in the North Bay, where construction workers are being paid top dollar to help repair communities lost to the fires. They're poaching our guys. They're coming down here and they're offering them a higher dollar an hour to get them to come work for them. And they're leaving us high and dry. With a shortage of labor and inflated costs of material across the Bay Area, developer Eric Tao says it's challenging and will continue to be. We were predicting three to five percent increases per year per annum for construction costs. Instead, it was 10 to 15 percent, something that we've never seen in all our 15 to 20 years of construction and development. So what's the answer? Well, employers say, okay, maybe higher hourly wages, maybe employee benefits and incentives, but keep in mind that maybe, could be, and will be passed down to the buyer, the home buyer, and increased prices. In the East Bay, Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5.